storm will soon be over. And at the same time, there was a first grade teacher in the same building. Her name was Wade Nellamani, and she had all of her students get under their desks two by two. And she told them to sing loudly and play their musical instruments. And she did that so that, um, so that they couldn't hear the sound. She told them if they got scared, they could scream if they wanted to, but don't stop playing the instruments, she said. Play, play, play. All the kids were okay. Not only were these two women courageous, it was more than just courage. Like the woman in the United Kingdom, they had the wisdom to think of more than just their own situation. Their concern was not just for the kids' safety, but also for their peace of mind and their home. In fact, the article went on to say later that when the rescuers um, came to you know, release the children from the, these uh, classrooms, and um, from the bathroom, they were what they, they called a remarkably calm. And the first woman, Jenny Glasgow, stated she thought that that was because they felt loved and safe. When asked if she felt like a hero, she replied that she and the other teachers were just doing their students. And that they love these kids like their own. This is the same type of wisdom which was employed by the musicians on the Titanic supposedly played and the very end of Hearing these stories and others like them, we realize that in the midst of tragedy or calamity, we are God's workers here on earth. Through God's gifts, including wisdom and the presence of the Holy Spirit, we can act with bravery and inspire others to have courage, hope, and faith even in difficult situations. This is wisdom. Being wise does not mean having all the answers. It is truly God's gift, and as human beings, we may be blessed by God to act with wisdom and more moments. One of the best you guys I can promise I'll be the fool in the next time. It's part of being human, I guess. And, uh, but if we're rooted in faith and the love of God in Jesus Christ, then we can be the fertile ground for the kind of listening, understanding, insight, and knowledge that can lead us to the blessings that are God's wisdom. Amen. Amen.